Hey guys, it's David Pingree with a really cool project bike today. We've got a 2017 CRF 250X. And this bike hasn't changed much since 04, really not at all, which means there's a lot of these out there. You can get really good deals on them. And we wanted to take this bike and kind of go a little more, make it a street legal version of it, improve the performance of it so that you could um, really enjoy some good aggressive off-road riding, but ride straight from your house if you wanted to and get to some trails. And the gal who did the test riding on this bike for us is Riley Caslew, and she's a former enduro cross and off-road competitor, very, very competent, much better off-roader than I am. So I'm excited to uh, get some tips from her today, but she put this thing through its paces and uh, she's gonna give us a breakdown on what she thought. So it's set up for, specifically for a girl, so we wanted to have somebody that could really speak to that. She's got some really cool features to it. It's actually lowered a little bit. Factory connection went through the suspension, dropped it down slightly, the seat's been cut. So it's kind of set up for, well, frankly, a smaller guy like me or, or a lady, however you like. Uh, but we also got a lot more performance out of this thing, and we'll let her talk to that a little bit. But uh, what we did is basically get rid of the emission stuff on this. So check with your local laws and regulations whether or not that's legal. Uh, we added a full Yoshimura exhaust system, and it's the combination of getting rid of the emissions, adding that Yoshimura exhaust, and opening up the airbox. Those three things combined uh, really let this thing breathe better. It means that you've got to rejet it. Uh, this is carbureted, and that makes it really run like an R model. So you get a pretty big horsepower boost with those changes made. Uh, so a lot of performance. The suspension's done by factory connection, so we know it's going to handle well. Um, and then we went to some of the off-road parts and, and things that we go to. Uh, Tusk makes basically an, an uh, on and off-road kit. Um, this comes with a full set of hand guards that have blinkers mounted into them. It's got full lights mounted into the rear fender. So everything you need to be street legal, front, front light and everything else. So um, it's a really cool kit and it's, it rounds out this entire package. Works Connection sent a lot of parts for this thing, caps, radiator guards, which are big if you're out riding in the woods and tip. You don't want to have a radiator leak if you've still got a long ways to ride home. So those are a really uh, solid investment. Larger IMS tanks, some larger IMS foot pegs, full tusk wheel sets. So a lot of parts on here that uh, give us some reliability. They look cool, they're affordable, and they also provide some practical performance um, increases when we hit the trail and, and get out on the road. So Riley, tell us a little bit about your impressions of this thing and what you thought. I thought it was great with the suspension being lowered. I found that uh, in the off-road stuff, I was more confident if I needed to stop in the trail for any reason. And it's also great because since it is a dual sport, I'm able to stop at a stoplight if I need to and I, I can touch the ground confidently. So that, that's really great with that. Um, Racing in Cross, I did not have my bike lowered, and now that I've ridden this bike, I wish that I would have done that. It would have made things a lot better. Yeah, same. I'm shorter <laughs> than you, so imagine how I feel. Yeah, no, yeah, it was great. I really liked the bike, and um, I think it's great to have a dual sport bike like this. I don't race competitively anymore, so to be able to just ride the bike from my house out into the trails is really just ideal. And were you able to notice some of the, the horsepower advantages? I don't know how much you've ridden one of these old uh, X models, but something that was one of those standard bikes versus the way they've got this set up. Um, I would say that it might not feel as fast as your motocross setup bike, but it was perfect for trail riding because you don't really need such aggressive power. So it felt perfect, the, power, the way that it's set up for off-road riding. And the suspension? It was great. Like I said, with it being lowered, I think that really helped. I felt like I could turn better with it being lowered like that. And just really my confidence for when I was out in the trails just really helped me just with my technicality of the actual trail riding. Awesome. And what about on the road? You know, you get this thing out straight out of your driveway and just and hit the road and go. How does it go on that? It's perfect. I have blinkers here now and um, it works perfect. The speed feels smooth and I'm able to ride it, and then I can just jump off and ride a trail too, and I, I don't have any problems. Plus you have a horn, so if somebody's not going fast that's enough right. for you, you can let them know. <laughs> let them know uh, I'm coming up on them. And that's right. So um, really a cool build. Uh, Renthal handlebars and grips, a lot of other little parts and, and pieces. Decal Works did all our graphics for us, so we really appreciate, appreciate everything they did. Um, and it does have a um, cylinder work cylinder on this that makes it a 256. It's a very small upgrade, but on a typically, if you're buying an older bike and trying to do something new with this, you're gonna throw a new piston in it anyways. So it comes as a kit, you drop it right in, it gives you a little bit of torque boost, 
um, just a little bit more performance that way. Uh, but it's a, it's an easy, if, if it's an older bike you're buying and freshing it up, it's something you'd do anyway. So uh, Pivot Works was a big part of this as well. Vertex Piston, um, UFO provided all the plastic upgrade for us. So. A couple other cool pieces on this thing, uh, the Promoto Billet Kickstand. If you've ever been on a, an off-road bike, out on the trails, on an off-road, not having a kickstand sucks. So uh, they actually had to build this thing custom and shorten it up a little bit because we did lower the suspension. Uh, but it works great. It tucks away, doesn't get hung up on anything. And uh, also uh, TM Design Works provided us with some great parts. You definitely want to have reliability if you're going to be, one, zipping down roads and out, in the, out on the trails. So the skid plate, our rear disc guard, and then even our chain protectors here over on the swing arm. These things are super durable. They come in all kinds of colors, so you can max, match them to your bike. Uh, really great products from those guys. So uh, all in all, an amazing bike, a lot of great companies involved. We really appreciate all the help there. Dunlop Tires was another big one. So uh, great products. Thank you guys for the help. Uh, thank you, Riley, for giving this thing a test ride. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. And uh, maybe now you can show me how to do some off-road riding. <laughs> I, I suck if anything that's like enduro cross style so um anyway i respect this girl's ability uh thank you for watching we're gonna go get this thing back out in the dirt and have some fun this thing is so fun <laughs>